Wait, did you guys go up yet to seven dollars? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Not yet, though. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming? Yeah, so this is going to be my last time at Dollar Tree. I was like... I used to be good at this. Hey, y'all. So, it's your girl, E. And I know I've been missing in action. I know y'all miss me. But I'm back. <laughs> But no, no, I'm back, y'all. Okay, so we're about to do a little DIY, you know, uh, gift basket for Easter. Um, I don't really celebrate Easter, but I do what I don't, like, but I know a lot of people do, so, and I know a lot of y'all have kids and stuff, so I definitely want to put together a little DIY Easter gift basket so you guys can, like, you know be creative and like help your kids um put together a little basket for like their classmates or even for church i know like when i go to church or when i used to go to church you know that's something that like we would do for the kids in the church or something so yeah you get the point you get the story um i just got to dollar tree so i'm about to run in and see what they got in there and yeah let's see what we can put together So um. yeah. Oh, um, can I put two hundred on it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm at Dollar Tree. I'm trying to get my little DIY. All right, y'all. Okay, so I'm at Walmart, and um, pretty much I found this aisle, and there's a lot of like gift baskets over here as you can see so if you don't want to make a DIY basket you can literally come to Walmart <laughs> and just grab one but if you are making one or if you're just like a mom and you just kind of like want to just you know have fun with your kids and like you know make it an experience um, yeah you can go to Dollar Tree and like follow my little DIY tutorial and as you can see like there's no like specific way to make a gift basket like you can see they're all like made from like different type of bags and stuff it doesn't have to be like a basket per se but yeah so um yeah i'm about to get out of here and stay tuned hey you guys it's your girl e your favorite guide for tips and hacks diy tutorials reviews and tours okay and also i will be dropping some great valuable information on how you can budget and save money as half of the struggle is making money and the other half is keeping the money okay and how you keep your money part of it is budgeting so i definitely will be dropping some gems for y'all real soon and that's also another reason why i do product reviews because i just pretty much want to share with you guys the products that I use and that I find because I'm the type of person I'm always looking for the best alternative there's a lot of products that do the same thing um or might even work better than like a popular option um if you haven't subscribed make sure to do that right now go ahead and press that button. go ahead and press that button okay period 
I'm gonna have to close my blind. I'm not reading like that. I know I've been missing in action, okay? I know I've been MIA, but you know, life happens. Life has been beating me up a little bit and it's just so much going on. Maybe I'll share with you guys later, but you know, I definitely am back and I will be dropping my videos regularly. I miss you guys too. I miss y'all, I know, I know, I know. So make sure to subscribe, show me some love, you know? Um, just let me know that you're here, you know, like leave a comment, tell me what you like about this video, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you know, Easter is around the corner and I know I kind of dropped this late, but again, like I said, life happens and I was like, you know what? Like, you know, I got to stand up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stand up, okay? Your girl is standing up, okay? I'm standing on business, and I'm not gonna let life beat me up, okay? So I'm definitely back. I'm so glad that like we're going through this journey together because you know, like sometimes you see people on YouTube or not even just YouTube, just like on any social media platform and you might see them and they're doing really good in life. And you're like, dang, how did they get here? So it's like, you know, I think it's really cool if you kind of like get to, be a part of the journey and kind of see what people go through and how they kind of get there so i'm like you know what why not share with my audience and let them know like hey you know sometime life happens and you might need to take a break but the most important thing is that you get back to business okay and i'm back in business all right okay so let's go ahead and get into our video so yeah like i said earlier easter is tomorrow and uh I decided I wanted to make another DIY video for you guys. I did get a couple messages of people like asking like, hey, are you going to do like a DIY video? Like, hey, why haven't you been dropping any videos? Actually, my cousin messaged me. I need to message her back. <laughs> but she was like, um, you know, what happened? Why'd you stop dropping videos? So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to, you know, go ahead and drop a video for Easter. So we're going to be making a Easter DIY basket. Yes, I love, love, love making DIY like items um, and videos. It's just fun. Like, you know, it's just, you just get to be creative. And also it's like a hobby. So I'm also like actually having fun and like doing something that I love to do anyway. And then I'm also able to share with you guys. So it's just even better. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I got all of these items from Dollar Tree. I think there's only one item that I got from um, Walmart. So I got this from Dollar Tree. That's another cool thing about DIY. You get to customize the basket how you would want it to be. So let me show you guys some of the things that I'm going to be putting in our basket today. So I got some eggs, this little ping pong. And when I was um, shopping for what I wanted to put in this basket i kind of like was imagining making a gift basket for like a kid you can even make this type of basket for like a friend or an adult and you can kind of like customize what exact items you want to put in it but since this one i was kind of making for like a child or yeah pr pretty much a kid um that's why i got this little ping pong thing because i think if i was making one for an adult i probably wouldn't have put this in there and then this I actually bought for something else, but I'm gonna use it. Well, you'll see what I'll do with it at the end. <laughs> I already had some tape. Um, I saw this little bunny bear. I thought this was cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Um, oh my God, I got so much stuff. I'm gonna just go ahead and take the bags off. So it's not okay so i also got this um i think this is like slime or um i think this is like slime kids love this stuff parents hate it i'm not a parent but i do have nieces and i basically raised my little sisters so trust me i know they love it um and then this is like decor for like what well, just says decor <laughs> so i was gonna use it to decorate the basket again all from the dollar tree uh, this I got from Walmart, and as you can see, um, this is what we're going to be wrapping the basket in after we're done, you know, with everything else. This I thought was so cute. Uh, this was like, um, it's actually a basket decor, like it was made for decorating Easter baskets, and it was at the Dollar Tree, so I like this. This was cool. I got us a little chocolate bunny, of course. See, I got a lot of stuff got some Jolly Ranchers. I just got some like uh candy to put in the eggs. I didn't really see no like 
smaller bunnies. Um, and then I got this little cup. I thought this was cute to add into the into the uh, basket. Got some bunny ears. I thought this was cute. Again, this is for a kid, so I thought that was cute. I got like a word puzzle type of book. I thought this was cute. And I, as an adult, love these type of books, so I know kids probably love them too. And I used to love it as a kid too. Um, and then I got some powder candy carrots. I thought this was cute for like the aesthetic of the whole basket thing, plus it's candy. Um, what do they call this? Easter grass. So basically we're gonna use that to, you know, add to the aesthetic of the basket, of course. I got these cute little eggy thingies. And some candy for the eggs. And I got this uh, super glue from Dollar Tree. It says wood glue, but I figured if this is strong enough for wood, it would be strong enough for what we're trying to do. So hopefully it works. I could have got glue at the Walmart, but um, I had already got that from Dollar Tree and I thought that would work. So hopefully it does. So here's our basket. This is the one I chose. Again, this is from Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to start off with the grass. Uh-oh. But yeah, look at this. So, um, it's been about, can I even say it's been three months since I started doing YouTube now? I guess you can't really count the last couple weeks since I haven't been posting as much. I don't know if I should tape this or glue this. But yeah, YouTube has been interesting. I feel like I'm going to do like another video where I really, really talk about like how my whole journey has been. Also, I want to like kind of review like my camera. I kind of already like reviewed some of like the equipment that I use. So if you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out. Um, you can just go back to like the videos on my channel and kind of like skim through. You'll see I pretty much showed you guys the equipment that I actually use and that's another thing about my um product reviews um I'm not just trying to like sell you guys something I'm literally showing you guys exactly what I'm doing and exactly what I'm using um sometimes I may use an affiliate link but not all the time most of my products that I've reviewed um I didn't use an affiliate link and pretty much we just get like a small percentage um if you purchase through that link um so that kind of just helps like you know small creators um you know continue to create you know so yeah you know if you guys like the product and you like the review you know it doesn't really take anything away from you guys if you use our links and we're not we're not getting paid to re like review certain products. We're literally just sharing the products that we use and then we might just use an affiliate link or maybe not. So that's pretty much all it is. I think I like this. What do you guys think? I think this is cute. I don't really want to put any right here because I feel like that might be... Okay, so I decided that I'm not going to use the um, glue for this. I'm actually just going to tape it. What I should have did was I should have got um, like a hot glue gun. But this should actually get the job done. Okay, finally got it. So if you have a hot glue gun, I'm pretty sure the hot glue gun should work really good. This tape... Is something else okay so if you have a hot glue gun like I was trying to say that should work um, but you know for the purpose of this video I'm gonna just go ahead and use tape tape is fine too but if you just want it to be more you know more clean and more precise and you know you don't want it to look too much of a DIY 
um, then you can definitely use a hot glue gun. But if you're just making this for like a family member or a church member, tape is perfectly fine. It gets the job done. And it's, you know, the thought that counts anyway. Um, so yeah, that works. So I'm going to go ahead and tape these all up. And I will see you guys when I'm done. <laughs> okay, so it seems I ran out of tape. So I think I do have, I do have more tape. I'm tripping. Okay, so I'm going to go grab another tape real quick. But as you can see, so far it's looking good. It's give it Easter, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some more tape. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some more tape. Um, So yeah, we got one side done. So pretty much you could see it looks good. And it's actually really sturdy. The tape works really good. It holds it in place. Um, and all you gotta do is go back in and put a couple more layers wherever you need it. Again, you can use a glue gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this other side and then we're gonna move on to the next thing. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, we have got the base of the basket all down. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go around with the basket and add these cute little bunnies. They're so cute. And I'm pretty much just gonna add it to I'm gonna add it around the whole basket actually. And I'm gonna use the glue. So I'm hoping that the glue works on this part better. Again, I should have uh I should have got the hot glue, but hopefully this works. I think it should work. It says it dries in 24 hours. Um so yeah, super cute. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add the little bunnies all around and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I am done adding the little rabbits, the little bunnies to the sides of the basket. This is so cute! Look at this guys! And I'm just having fun with this. Like I'm not even like you know, I'm not even like trying too hard with this. I'm just literally having fun. So, so far it's looking great. So I'm gonna be really gentle because again, we're using super glue, but it is for wood. And I think we'll be okay when it dries, but I wanna be careful because this is not a wood, a wood surface and I don't wanna like, you know, trigger anything. So, okay, I'm trying to think what else do we gotta do or what should we do next? Okay, so this is another um, basket decoration. So it's literally made for decorating the basket. I don't know if we're gonna need it. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna need this, but let me go ahead and open it and see if we could, you know, add it to what we already got going on here. Okay, so this is what it comes with. So it's like a sticker. Oh, this is cute. And then it comes with like, the ears. Oh, this is cute. The little basket thing, and the stickers. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this part. Probably insert these like right here and make them like bunny ears. And pretty much I'm just gonna use tape again. Maybe I'll give it to a neighbor but like, I'm not actually making this for anyone. I'm just kind of. I'm basically just putting the stickers on. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I'm just, just, I just tore it. Let me know if you guys want me to start making these baskets like seasonally. And if you guys want me to like start selling them and like shipping them out, let me know because 
One of my friends, definitely, she uh, was telling me, like, you know, she would love if I could do that because, you know, she, she has a daughter. And, you know, like, when they have birthdays, you know, they like to bring, like, little treats to school and stuff and little gift baskets and, like, for little holidays. So let me know if you guys would like that. You know, if you guys would like a local, you know, person who can make all different types of gift baskets and DIY products for you guys. Okay, so that is done. So pretty much, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and tint this. This is so cute. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our little bunny in here. Okay, but yeah. So go ahead and put that in there. The little bunny ears. I guess I can leave this on. I'm actually just moving the eggs from the back to the front. Book. I don't know if I want the book to go in front. Okay, yeah, I am going to put the book in front because the, the chocolate box is big enough so people are going to know like, okay, there's chocolate right there. The eggs are going right here. And you know what? Another thing. I might actually take the eggs out for right now. This inside because that is gonna lift our basket. It's gonna give the basket more volume and it's gonna let everything sit up higher so that way you can see the eggs, you know? We're gonna put the bottle in. I guess I can face this back to the front now. Okay, so we're gonna put the bottle in right here. You see how that sits up better than it did before? Yep. This is basically where we're at right now. So as you can see, this basket is so cute and I think we're doing really good. Um, and we're learning together because obviously I didn't know that I needed, um, well I did kind of know that I needed a hot glue gun but then I don't know why, I kind of, just thought this was like regular super glue and I'm like oh well regular super glue can work on anything so I thought it was the same thing I didn't know this was like a white texture but as you can see it's sticking it worked you know um so we're doing just fine so now that we are almost done packaging our Easter gift basket we're gonna go right in with our um last items so we're gonna go ahead and put the little slime thing put it right here this is so cute guys and also remember if you guys want me to make more diy items um just let me know um you can contact me in my email my email is in my bio on my instagram my youtube check out my link tree all my information is in there and yeah just let me know what custom diy items you want me to make um, and, um, if you guys are really like, you know, filling my DIY items, maybe I'll make a website or, you know, make it more official. Um, but yeah. And then another cool thing about pretty much like, you know, ordering custom DIY baskets or just items or whatever, you know, you want me to make for you guys, um, you get to kind of customize what you want me to do. So, you know, sometimes when you go to the store and you get a generic, um, you know, a generic option, it's kind of like making sure it looks organized. Um, but yeah, <laughs> when you go to the store and you get a generic option, you don't get to choose what's in the basket. Pretty much have to take whatever they put in it and it just looks lovely okay it looks lovely just look at this okay super super cute okay and then i'm just gonna go in and i'm probably just gonna give this to my neighbor or something i think um actually i just got a new neighbor and i think he has a daughter. So I'm like, hi. We're gonna put our Easter basket in here. This is so cute. 
Mind you guys. And you guys will see what I actually bought this for later. I actually bought that for something totally different. So. I'm going to use this. And voila, cut it a lot short. This is just so cute and I'm just speechless. Like, just look at this. This is so, this is just so adorable. It was just really fun. And also if you have kids, this is something that you can literally do with them. So I would definitely recommend this DIY Easter tutorial. If you're a last minute person like me, it's not too late. Run to the store, grab some materials and make you a basket and take it to church or take it to, you know, um, your family gatherings. And yeah, it's not too late to create a present for, you know, a family member um, for Easter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have so many more DIY videos coming your way. And don't worry, um, my other DIY videos will be coming to you in a timely manner. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my video. If you're interested in custom DIY orders, just let me know. You can email me or send me a DM. Um, so here you have it, our very own Easter basket. As you can see, it was super easy. I literally just had fun with it. I didn't like have a, a manual or you know a guide to follow. So yeah, um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And also so you can stay in touch with all our latest videos.